This is huge that we're already expanding internationally. Our plan to take it to Triple H and WWE is working faster than expected. See, you just needed to trust me. Study up on some Lucha Libre footage. As you know, it's a completely different style. And if you accidentally drink the water there, make sure you wear brown tights. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. Just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know, I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here, I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. <laughs> I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations yet. That wasn't a hallucination. <laughs> all right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst.
lucharán. Muy impresionante la lucha libre de vos. Tal vez hizo su tarea. Vos tiene el impulso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. Su primera lucha de voz en México y será la última si gana el mago. Lo siento, el mago, pero el que se lleva una máscara se parece enemigo a vos. A mí no me parece que vos tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Esta lucha ha sido increíble, como nos dijo Baron Blade toda la semana pasada. Ahorita Buzz no parece cansado. Tal vez tenía un buen viaje, solamente lo mejor por los hombres de Baron Blade. Buzz ha ganado todas sus luchas, pero el mago tiene sus trucos. Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, Buzz, y buena suerte. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó a Buzz en el evento de WWE. ¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo! Now do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Uh, 
Lo siento. Soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What you saying? Did you admit to everything? <sighs> no. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. <sighs> Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? You have a marker. You're a better man than I am. Don't do that again, Buzz. Gracias. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was great up until the end. And any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. You mean ducha? I looked it up. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we going to have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> yes, Baron. Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the US.
Really? <laughs> yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. Oh, but that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say? I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Yes, that's the one. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently?
Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. What? Did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about! Hey Cole, you got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. 
Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. Huh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? I thought we should jump someone tonight to really make an impact, but I trust your judgment. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. Wait, wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... Hey, don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Well, now, now they've crossed the line. Can somebody do something about this? Apparently our visitors weren't satisfied with just being spectators. <laughs> Triple H does not own us, and he obviously can control us. We are well, dangerous. Please get these we are idiots BCW, out of our ring. and we are going to destroy NXT. Off. You will see us again. Want to cut my mic? Is that what you want to do? You just want to cut my mic? That's fine. That's fine. We. Oh, look. Get them out of here now. Come on, guys. Hey, hi. What's up, guys? Come in the ring. We did what we needed to do. We're here now. We're here now. Get used to it. Down going, this way. I'm going. I'm going. going right here. I'm going. Is this where you want us? Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. You're welcome. Oh, he's got the right idea. He's got the right idea. I'm going. Let's go. I'm going. Go. Suck it. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 You wanna go? You wanna go? I'm not gonna stop.
That was awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now. I know, and even better, we're trending. Yeah. Yes. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, 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 but before we get there, how are we gonna strike next? What do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh no, you, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We gotta keep this thing going. Yeah, I wanna be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's gonna be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before and I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. <laughs> or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? Well, we gotta go with the original invaders, Hall and Nash from the NWO. This is going to be too sweet! Guys, it's the NWO. See, you never know who's gonna show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Hey, yo. Come on, let's go. You wanna go? Come on, let's go.
confirmed. It's the same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these indie invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the authors of Let's pain, go. but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go.
Oh, no. Now they're Finish in them off. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Now, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders.
Hey, Hunter. You mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York, dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog, Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay?
Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is gonna try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. People who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. All right, well, I'll keep thinking on it. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be. Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it. up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with this mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's going to get beat up by this fan a second time.
right to the face. That's not the case, though. <laughs> oh, and he reverses it. Oh, from behind. <laughs> is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. Harsh impact. <laughs> Nasty impact. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. He's got the shoulders down. And he gets the shoulder up too soon. Looking incredibly fatigued right now. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. He has got to do something quick. He's in big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much off his game. What an incredible moonsault. some offense. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. There's very little for him to be concerned about here. Ooh, what impact. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Clearly not afraid to go to the well again. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. 
Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown or Raw the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable.
Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> What is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aw, thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant, so thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. OK, well. I'm gonna miss you, man. BCW handshake? It's kinda weird now, it's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wee -wee 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 you got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's US title. That's great. Who else is in the Battle Royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. <laughs> 